guests, citizens of Tacoma. I'm Trent Wolfile. I live in the city in the first district at 4600 Waterview. I'm also a member of your fire department and have been for the last 25 years. I'd like to start by saying how proud I am of the Tacoma Fire Department, how hard its members work for the citizens, and how good they are at what they do. The fire department was last year recognized by a national accreditation agency as one of the best departments in the United States, um, a distinction only a handful can claim. Uh, a little bit of history. It seems the perception in the city is that the fire department has always spared the cuts, that somehow, some way, those cuts just don't ever seem to materialize. And the truth of the matter is that's not the case. Since I've been on the fire department, we've closed two fire stations, and we've resorted to selling two fire stations to other cities in order to keep them from being closed. The first year I worked for the fire department, we were supported to 14,800 calls. This year, we're projected to hit 45,000 calls. We're doing more with less. And the fire service is unlike any other service you provide. We are a time-based response. The amount of time it takes us to get to you to bring the services that we uniquely provide has a direct bearing on the outcome of that service. By closing the stations that you've identified, you're in essence going to create dead zones within the city where a citizen, a taxpayer, a business owner's chances of surviving a serious medical or fire-related incident have been catastrophically reduced, maybe even eliminated. Let me give you some statistics excuse me, on these stations that you're projecting to cut. So far this year, they've responded to almost 10,000 calls. That's a call every 49 minutes, 24 hours a day, every day this year. 600 of those calls were confirmed fires, 9,000 were medical aid. Of the 9,000 medical aid, 3,000 were deemed advanced aid required or serious, 80 of them were full codes. When you look at those numbers, the decisions that you've made, the pie charts that you've done, pale a little bit in my mind. I know you've worked hard. I'm incredibly disappointed that the layoff notices went out before public comment was even taken. I think you're going to hear a lot from these citizens on how they want their tax dollars spent, and it's going to be different than what's completely on the wall. So I would simply charge you to keep your, your mind open. Yes, we appreciate, like I said, the good work you've done, but I think there's some additional work that needs to be concluded. I do have one question, if I'm allowed to ask. The FTT, F, uh, full-time equivalents that were indicated on the pie chart, some 360 for the fire, does that include the revenue FTE that we generate ourselves through the EMS levy, ALS transport? Because I, I think that number is wrong, and if that's the case, those percentages are way off.